Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about fruitarian diet and diabetes. Does fruit cause diabetes? Mm -hmm. Does fruit heal diabetes? What do you think? Yeah, it's probably like one of the number one things that people would, would mention when they say, I'm on yeah. a fruit-based diet. People want to say like, oh, that's a lot of sugar, you know, I isn't that sugar. bad for your blood sugar or for diabetics or something like yeah. that? But I think it's, it's actually the opposite. Um, there's actually, there's a YouTube channel viewers should check out called Mindful Diabetic Robbie. Well, so okay. mindful meaning just to be aware of the options. He's a diabetic. He's type two diabetic and he heals a lot of people. He has a lot of clients who have diabetes and he heals them through a fruit based diet. So it's actually, it's, he talks about how the factors that involve that, uh, that take place with diabetes is uh, not so much the sugar content, but like the reactivity. So like when it goes to your stomach, how fast does it actually absorb? Mm -hmm. So there's like glycemic index and glycemic load. So glycemic load would be how much sugar does the fruit contain or the food contain. And glycemic index is how quickly does your body put it into the bloodstream. And uh, he promotes a low fat diet because even though, even if fruit has a high glycemic load, it has a low glycemic index because it's high water content and you right. know, it digests pretty well. And then he talks about low fat comes in and if your blood sugar... Yes, that No, don't worry about it. So what I'm, what I'm hearing you say is that there's a lot of factors that come into it. And yeah. that people may say fruit, sugar, diabetes, and just kind of put them all together yeah. without really understanding that not all sugar is the same, right? I know, for example, Dr. Robert Morris talks a lot about um, candida, right? And mm. the, the sort of common note, notion is that, oh, candida is fed through sugar, so any type of sugar, yeah. you know, will make candida overgrowth. But he says that, and, you know, maybe he'll explain it much better than I will, but he basically says that because fruit gets digested so quickly, there's not really any remainings for the candida to feed on it versus let's say a potato or some rice sort of sits there and the candida can go and feed on it because it's sort of rotten yeah. and that's their preference type of food. I think it's, it's also too because people have this idea that diabetes is caused by sugar but really I think the issue is, is fat because fat creates insulin resistance. So if you have high fat levels in your blood, it prevents insulin, which is created by your pancreas, from delivering you know it's a carrier mm -hmm. it's a you know a catalyst that brings sugar into the cells but if you have high fat in your bloodstream it prevents insulin resistance it prevents the insulin from doing its job properly therefore the sugar just stays in your blood mm -hmm. and you have elevated blood sugars for longer amounts of time than you should right so if you're low fat even even not so much raw or fruitarian but if you're just even a, a low fat vegan a lot of people have a lot of success with diabetes. Right. Yeah. Just and, cutting out the animal products and the high fat foods. Yeah, and you know, of course, like you know, we're not here like doctors or scientists with yeah. like our white coats on, which is. But we've we've seen this sort of thing. Yeah, and, and we've I mean, looked into it a little bit more. And, and you know, I get I get blood tests and stuff like yeah. that. I don't have any diabetes, and so what what my intention was with this video, more than telling you how it is and whether fruit does or does not cause or heal diabetes, it's just for you to have more of an open mind about it and do some research and listen to both sides because, you know, if there's just at least one person who was a diabetic and started eating a high fruit based diet and was able to heal this diabetes, it's, it's very much well worth looking into, right? Mm -hmm. The same way that people like myself or people like Mango Woodside who has been eating fruit for 20 years or Michael Arnstein who did it for like 9 or 10 years, you know, these people didn't develop diabetes. So I think it's well worth looking mm -hmm. into this. Yeah, and, and like really just us being people who eat a lot of fruit. I've never experienced any while I'm eating exclusively fruit, you know, any symptoms that would indicate high blood mm -hmm. sugar, like, you know, lightheadedness or like fainting or anything like that. Right. Yeah, I've never had anything like that. Right, 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 right. For so, sure. Yeah, I mean just from personal experience, if you try it out and cut out the fat and, and experiment with it, you'll see pretty quickly that it's not causing any problems. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. Experiment. <laughs>